This is a big boy. Obviously it is for a huge iPad, the 12.9 inch one. Hey, Wear Your Noticers, Shane here, and welcome to another video on the Wear Your Notice Technology YouTube channel. If you're new here, definitely take a moment to consider subscribing so you don't miss out on all my other awesome tech videos about things like smartphones, smartwatches, tablets, computers, tech accessories, cases, and really just so much more. But folks, anyway, in this video, we're gonna be unboxing this case right here, the UAG, that stands for Urban Armor Gear, Metropolis Series case for none other than my beautiful 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro, AKA the fifth generation 2021 iPad Pro right here. So without further ado, let's get to getting this case out of the box. Here we go. So folks, here we are up close and personal with this box. As you can see on the front, we can touch and feel the case right here. It says UAG, which once again stands for Urban Armor Gear right here. It says the iPad Pro that this is made for, and it's got some pictures of the case right here. And lastly, it says Metropolis Series down on the bottom. Over here on the back, we see uh, more pictures of the iPad Pro case, and we once again see the iPad it's made for. It says it's impact resistant, has traction grip, auto wake and sleep, adjustable stand, and is also compatible with charging the Apple Pencil. Definitely good, and it is designed in California, just like the actual iPad. That's pretty cool. So anyway, let's get to getting this case out of the box. So right here it says open, and it says open here, so I'm guessing we pop this open to get it out. So let's see. Can we just slide this out just like that? Yup. Wow, that was easy. We can put the case down right here, and look at this beautiful beautiful shade of red I got right here. Nothing like a good old wear notice red case. And now this little box is empty right here. We can put this to the side. And now here is the actual case. So here it says UAG on this little flap right here. Over here on the back, it says UAG once again. And first impression, I'm definitely noticing that grippy textured feel on this. That is pretty cool. Now we can come over here and open it up just like that. And voila, this is a big boy. Obviously it is for a huge iPad, the 12.9 inch one. I definitely love bigger screens, so that's why I had to get such a big iPad. And then we could take this little piece right here off, put this away. And then we could check out the inside of the case. As you can see, it's got this hexagon shaped pattern all throughout it. It says UAG once again. They really want to put their logo all over this case. And then over here, we got a nice cutout for the rear camera right there. And yeah, floppity floppity. This is a pretty floppy case as well. I'm kind of noticing that right there. So yeah, instead of just playing with the case, let's actually put my iPad Pro inside of it. So we've got my beautiful M1 iPad Pro right here. We've got the case right here. And let's just fold this little kickstand, stand, whatever you want to call it, uh, flap that covers the screen as well over on the back. And now let's see, we can just grab my M1 iPad Pro right here, place the case down nice and gently right there. And then let's actually put the iPad inside of it. So let's see, I believe we put it in just like this. Let's hope so. And then we can come over here on the bottom and try to get it in the bottom corners over here as well. I will say it's definitely a bit stressful getting cases on this huge M1 iPad Pro just because it's so big. I definitely get worried about it. So we can just finish this up right here. And then boom, last corner right here. Boom, there it is, nice and on. Definitely a little bit stressful, don't wanna damage the iPad at all, but yeah, now this case is all on it. So let's fold this big old flap over, and here is what it looks like. Wow, this feels very protective. 360 degree protection on there, and oops, silly me, I forgot to put the end right here uh, where the lightning port is on all the way, so we can close that up right there. Let's make sure everything's on nice and solid over here, this corner, a little bit, we can put that on a little bit more, make sure everything's nice and on. And yeah, now it seems like it is actually on my iPad Pro and man, this definitely makes it feel way more robust, especially with that front screen cover right here. It feels like it's definitely got quite a bit more weight to it, but it also feels more sturdy as well. Once again, I will say this is such a cool red color right here. So now let's go on a tour around the case. As we can see, we got a pretty big cutout right here for the top power button. Over here, we got some cutouts for microphones as well as for the speaker grills. Over here, we just got this little area right here that connects the 
actual screen flap to the rest of the case. Over here on the bottom, we got a cutout for the USB-C port. And over here, we got cutouts for the speaker grills as well. And I think I may have uh, misspoken earlier and called this a lightning port. It is a USB-C port. Sorry about that. I've been uh, doing a lot of iPhone case unboxings recently, and that has a lightning port. Anyway, now over here on this side, we got a really big cutout actually for the whole side of the device. And this is because this is where the Apple Pencil goes. And we've also got the volume buttons right here. And you know what? Let me grab my Apple Pencil and put it on. So we can just open this flap right here. And now we can see it. And here's my Apple Pencil. And here we go. Actually, I think I usually put it like this. Yeah, this way. And voila. Yes, it is right. It does still work with the Apple Pencil. That is definitely good. I wouldn't want to get an iPad case that takes that ability away because the Apple Pencil is pretty cool right there. And yeah, but it is interesting. It does leave a lot of the side exposed though because like this whole area is definitely um, not covered. So yeah, but you want to be able to use your Apple Pencil. Now, anyway, let's take this flap open and now we can see the actual iPad Pro right here. And I believe we can use this whole crazy um, flap stand as a stand as well. So I'm wondering how you do that. Think maybe like this. And yeah, I was right. You can use this stand like this. So I don't know, maybe go watch a YouTube video, a wearing notice video or a TV show, movie, whatever, with the iPad standing up like this. Now we can move it back if we want it at this angle. So this is pretty nice. It's pretty widely adjustable. Or if we want it at an angle like this or an angle like this right here, you can do that. So that is pretty cool right there. And actually, I think you're going to want it in one of these little grooves. So maybe you can't do it right there or, oh, or maybe you can, but yeah, we can do an angle like this and see there's like a little indentation right there. Hopefully that's to make it uh, stay in place. And yeah, that is pretty cool. But now first impressions though, I will say this case definitely feels a lot more cumbersome than the case I usually have on my M1 iPad Pro, the OtterBox Symmetry. That case also has a front cover uh, flap thing as well as a way to um, access the Apple Pencil. But for whatever reason though, on this UAG uh, Metropolis series case, the flap feels just so much more cumbersome. I think because it has this additional piece in the back right here from here to here, that sort of lets it really, really flap around. Whereas on the Symmetry, the um, flap only stays solid like this on the side, if you know what I mean, instead of being able to flap around all like this. So I definitely prefer that case more than this one. And they are actually like pretty much the same price. They're both about $90. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with that case on my iPad Pro, but this one right here is definitely interesting, especially with this funky color. I believe it's called Magma right here, this uh, red color. So that is interesting. I do like the color red, obviously. And I mean, yeah, with that, there's not really much more to say about the UAG Metropolis case for the M1 12.9 inch iPad Pro right here. I will also have a link down in the description to my unboxing video of Otterbox's Symmetry case that I was just talking about, the one that I like to use on my iPad all the time, uh, down in the description if you want to check out that video as well, and a link to Otterbox's Defender case. Also, feel free to let me know down in the comments what you think of this case right here. Do you have it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. I read all the comments, by the way. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to smash that subscribe button and subscribe to the Wear Notice technology YouTube channel so you don't miss out on all my other awesome technology videos. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. Bye.